Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. I'm Sabrina. And today we have an exciting upgrade for the RV. This is a 12 volt RV refrigerator that we just got from Bodega. Um, pretty excited about this guy because we previously, if you've been watching our channel forever and ever, we had a travel trailer way back in the beginning and it had an outdoor kitchen in it. And that was pretty cool. So we kind of wanted to do that again. And then also, if you guys have been watching the channel, we've done solar on the RV. So 12 volt fridge running directly off the solar. It's perfect. Yeah, that's going to work out good. So stay tuned and watch us put this guy in. Alright guys, so let me give you a couple of specs on sizes and things like that. Um, this is a great model for like a van if you're doing a van conversion or even if you got a work truck or something, you want to keep some beverages cool or lunch cool in your van for work or you know. Um, the Mack trucks, yep. I hear they like them. Over the road truckers or mm -hmm. anything like that where you have 12 volt source. Uh, the, it is a 12 volt hard wire fridge so you are going to need a 12 volt access somewhere. So we're going to route these cables, it comes with an inline fuse already in place so it should be pretty easy to find a 12 volt source uh, as far as size of this thing the width on it is about 15 inches the depth to the front of it is about 19 inches and the height is about 21 inches so if you got a spot that um that you're thinking about putting this guy uh just keep those sizes in mind we're also gonna this thing is lightweight it's only 30 some pounds so I, I think if we're doing travel days, this would be something there. I could possibly take it out of the RV and maybe do a quick adapter and then put and it in the back of the, the truck. Put it in the truck, yeah. Right, hardwired into the truck. So it's, it's better than uh, a cooler, it stays cold. And uh, we're gonna put it here on our outside bay to um, have kind of an outdoor kitchen when we're camping. So let's do that next. Mm -hmm. Now I do want to point out something. You don't even have to mess with the doors. You can literally open it from this side if you need to. Or no effort at all, the other side. Boom. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right guys, so we got it in here. We are going to use some L brackets to uh, secure it in place. There's a couple screws already in it. I'm just gonna pull these out so I'm not putting extra screws in the unit. I just want to keep it in place. Uh, if you were mounting this under your countertops or something like that, uh, you know, you'd, you'd want to secure it how you'd have to secure it. But in the bay here, what ultimately we want to do, this is the passenger side of the RV. Like Sabrina pointed out, this actually can open from both sides, which is pretty cool. So you can, you know, if you're in a tight space, uh, you don't have to worry about the swing of the door. And I'm just going to route the wires. My battery is right in the front corner here. So I'm going to route that wire over and I'm going to connect it to our 12 volt source. And we should have this thing up and running here shortly. So let me get working on the wire right now and we'll show you guys when we fire it up and uh, go through some of the operation with you. All right guys, so I got the wire routed over to our front bay. This is where our solar power is. Uh, we have some uh, screw down terminal blocks here. So I just ran over the uh, 12 volt cables and mount them right under my uh, my main lugs here. Uh, it is it does have the inline fuse, so we are wired up. Uh, that's pretty much as easy as it gets. Let's go start the guy up and see what it looks like. All right, guys. So she is up and running. It's got a power button there. It's got a gear icon, so you can set your different temperature settings. It's currently 86 and 81, so it's giving the active inside temperature of the unit. Just fired up, uh, positive and negative, so I can increase and lower my temperatures here. Pretty nice. Uh, again, we mentioned the dual opening doors. It's got a little ice box area up top. Plenty of uh, 
storage space, got a little crisper drawer at the bottom. So it's this is a pretty cool unit. Again, if you're looking for a compact fridge in a van or uh, just in the road and maybe the back seat of the truck or something like that. It also has a little locking feature so that once it's not in use, if you don't want it smelling in there, you can latch this right here. And it'll crack that door open to keep it from uh, getting all mildewy inside. So uh, again, we are going to let this cool down. All right, look at this new outdoor fridge we got. Looks pretty cool. So we got it finally installed. Uh, super easy install. If you got a direct path to 12 volt anywhere in your camper, or RV, um, or van, just that, that's the hardest part. It's routing the wires and connecting it to a 12 volt source. Uh, we do want to mention also there is an app that you can put on your phone. So you can control this fridge uh, remotely if you had to, or just... You can get it, if, if you don't normally store food in here, it's a good way while you're driving to be able to turn it on, so that way when you do park, you can at least have a cold fridge to put your stuff in for that night's dinner outside. That's a good point. So again, the main reason that we wanted an outdoor, basically kitchen setup, or we'll end up adding a grill to this or whatnot, um, is because we don't want to track in and out of the RV to grab a beverage, you're outside entertaining, hanging out. Uh, you don't want people in and out of the, the RV with the muddy boots and, mm -hmm. and everything else. So this is an awesome upgrade for us. Can't wait to use it. We're gonna start by adding some cold beverages to this puppy. Right. And we're going to also leave a link below if you guys are interested in the bodega fridge for your rig. Uh, I think it's a great upgrade. Or if you're just working and you got a work van, I definitely want one of these in the back mm -hmm. of the van. Absolutely. So thanks for checking us out again, guys. And we will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Take care.